This episode is sponsored by the following Patreons. Thank you so, so much for supporting this show. If you want to be a Patreon and get exclusive benefits, you can sign up at a link in the description. Players are competing for a one-of-a-kind totem pole prize package. The winner will receive a cash prize, merch, and their own totem pole spin-off show that will air after season three. After losing both Maddie and Jackie, this this upcoming challenge is such a pivotal moment in this game. If I don't win this one, or neither Josh or Sabrina do, this could be the downfall of all of our games. So it's a brand new day, a brand new challenge. I'm really excited because I need to win. Coming back outside, the hill is back, the bags are back, and I don't know what we're doing. Why do we keep using this freaking hill? Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it. <laughs> I was really hoping that this challenge was not going to be a physical challenge. Hello, Final Seven. <laughs> it is time for your next challenge. This challenge is called Balance Your Baggage. You must hold a paddle and balance blocks on your paddle all the way up this hill to the finish line. If you drop, you have to restart. This challenge is not easy, and it may take you a minute, but you can do it. We are almost finished with this. We almost have a winner. This is the final push. Go for it. All right, everyone can open their bags. I hate this challenge. This challenge was in the freaking season one, and I, they played the little dang clown music, and I wasn't good at this challenge before. I had a dang boot on my foot. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It just seems impossible. Walking up a hill, balancing blocks on a freaking paddle. And these blocks aren't blocks. They're freaking foam blocks. I'm upset if you can't tell. I opened this bag and it's a paddle and some blocks. I light up. I literally just want a balance challenge. I'm like, I've got this in a bag. Let's go. In my mind, I'm like, all right, there's some logic to this. Like, you have to put those cylinders in the hole to kind of balance it some way. On your mark, get set, go. I put the cylinders and the blocks in my shirt so I can like balance it standing up. That was not working. So I go back down and I'm like, all right, let's just, let's just stack these things. I keep trying to get up, but man, man, it's just, it keeps falling, it keeps falling, and I need at the top of the totem pole, I, it's final seven, I don't know what anyone's gonna do, I just had an, a pretty rough round where I, I made a risk, I made a move without really consulting with anybody, and no one, no one went with it, with, except my people, obviously, but the other side of the house did not, they did not want to go with it at all, so of course I went to the top again, so I can be like, all right, let's make this move again, let's make it happen. So you have th two different sides of the house. You have me, Sabrina, and Shane, and then on this side, you have Jace, Kadia, and Luke. And then right in the middle, you have Derek. And Derek is working with people on each side. He's working with me. I know he's working with Kadia. I don't know how closely he's working with the others, but I know he has relationships with them. So I don't know exactly where Derek's head is at when it comes to those things, because the last round, he didn't vote with me. He voted with this side of the house. He didn't vote with this side of the house. So I don't know what he's thinking for this round. So I'm actually kind of really nervous because I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> Kadia, girl. What the? F oh, that's definitely, definitely yours. Oh, wait, do I have one of yours then? No. Yes, I do. All right. Ooh, this isn't gonna work. 
So in the middle of the challenge, I'm feeling pretty good. Everybody else is just kind of falling apart. They're like too like nervous to kind of make this work. Um, I'm feeling really good. I get a pretty good strategy as to how I'm going to stack my blocks up. Um, and I'm getting some, some momentum as I'm going up the hill. I see Sabrina's doing pretty well, um, but I'm feeling pretty confident going in. I just know like I've got to keep I've got to keep my myself under composure. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm pretty good at that. Now, if I can just keep the wind out of my face, that would be great. But I'm still over here struggling with my vlogs, and um, but you know what? I'm cheering him on, and because I know the only hope is Luke or Jace to win this challenge because there is no way that I'm winning this challenge. It's all about balance, and I'm leaning to the side every time I take a step. Hey, Jays, don't drop that. <laughs> I'm doing really good, and then this wind starts picking up. I'm like, where did the wind come from? I'm like, this is easy money for me if I can just like keep this wind from knocking over my gosh dang tower every time. I'm missing a block. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! This is my going I'm doing pretty well Jace is really far ahead but he drops and so he has to run back and I got this like I'm gonna win this for my alliance so we're gonna get to the next round no problem oh my gosh like I'm doing so good and then I drop my blocks like I gotta oh I gotta get it together I gotta I gotta I gotta maintain composure for a little bit longer like I can knock this out this is easy money I can do this so it takes me a few minutes to get my blocks actually stacked without falling over so it takes me a lot to even get across the line but I start to get a hang of it, and I have a good feeling about this because I feel like I'm doing better than the rest of the people next to me. I'm actually getting across the line and going more than a few steps. So I think I might have this. I'm kind of concerned because the only way I feel like the Baggage Alliance has a way of making it past this round is if Jace or Luke makes it to the top of this hill first. I would like to say me, but there is no way I'm getting up there first. And I'm next to Shane, and I love it. Shane is such a sweetest little, the sweetest guy ever. And so he's encouraging me. He's calling. He's saying, "You can do it. You can hobble. You got it." <laughs> and he, I can tell that he has like a sparkle, a little sparkle in his eye. He's like, "I got the little tower on my back or my paddle. I make it." He makes one step, crosses that line, and he goes. <laughs> I take two steps forward. And I take a deep breath and I blow my own blocks over. <laughs> I ain't struggling. Oh, I'm struggling. Just struggling to get to you. I'm struggling. That's my so I build my box and I start taking off this hill. I'm doing really well, really, really well. I'm. I feel a victory. I've never been to the top of the totem pole. I want this so bad right now. So bad. So I'm about to get to the top of the hill. Do not hit each other. So I know what to say. I want this so bad. I got to start over, so. The only person getting to hang this challenge besides me is Jace, which is worst case scenario for me because if he wins, I'm done. You got it, Seb. This is the defining challenge of this game right here. This is gonna like pave the road for whoever's making it to the freaking finals right now. And I'm looking to my left and I'm like, Kadia is no help in this challenge. Luke is can't get it together for this challenge. Like it's on my shoulders to win this stupid thing to get my alliance to the freaking finals. And like, you know what? Dang it if I ain't gonna have to do it. Like I'm doing it. This is happening right now and I'm not letting anybody stand in my freaking way. I'm so glad Jace is in the lead right now. Please Jace, please, 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 you got this. Keep going, don't give up. Like focus on the blocks, keep your eyes straight ahead and just go to the finish line. If Serena wins this, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that when you win, I'm probably going to be safe. And I, I just hope that you win this challenge, Chase. Please, 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 Chase, go.
Struggling with the challenge, I'm standing at the starting line and I'm watching Sabrina make it about halfway. I'm cheering her on, I know she can do this, and then all of a sudden, I see Jace catching up to her. Jace! on you. It's neck and neck between Sabrina and Jace. Somehow Sabrina gets a little bit in front of Jace and she's almost at that finish line because they are literally two or three steps away from the finish line. Jace, kill it! Sabrina, this is a pivotal moment in this game. If you win this for us, we can take control and make it to the end. All I've got to do is win this thing and I, like my alliance is in. We're there. We're so close. I know I can win this thing. Like, I've just got to do it. i got to focus up. Luke is getting maybe one step off the line and then Shane can't control his hand and he keeps dropping and Kadia's not getting anywhere, anywhere either. Josh, same thing. So I know at this point it's a race between me and Jace. My heart, my heart is just pounding out of my chest right now. I'm trying to keep it together. I see Sabrina's up ahead but I can't let it bother me. I can't focus. It's just one step at a time and I'm, I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna keep moving. The wind picks up a couple times, but I'm okay. I'm gonna keep rocking. I'm gonna do this thing. This is it, I can see it. I see Jace's orange blocks running up next to me and he is going a lot faster than I am. So I know that if I do not pick up the pace, I'm going to lose. Yeah, so close. And then I drop. And then like I hear her fall behind me and I'm like, this is it. Like I have this challenge in the bag. And so I honestly like I slow down and I like kind of take a deep breath. I understand like I just I just gotta like finish right at this point. I just have to make it across the finish line. The wind picks up for a second and so I like adjust. I allow my, my heart rate to go down for a second. And it's me, again, the top of the totem pole, one more time, like, I'm in, we're in it, I'm, I'm making it to the finals, I don't care what y'all say, this is my season, this is it, this is, this is my time, freaking comeback tour, baby, let's go, let's go, oh! I literally, and then all of a sudden, I just see all the blocks fly up in the air, and I knew my boy got it. And in this moment, I know that I'm in danger. I am very frustrated with myself that I wasn't able to even make it halfway in this challenge. And Jace was the last person that I wanted to win this challenge. I've been gunning for him in this game, and now it's his turn to take me out. Before the placement, you're gonna have a little bit of time to strategize. However, this time it will not be inside. You can strategize out here, outside. You have a limited amount of time. When we call you inside, it's time for the placement. Good luck. Jace winning is the worst possible scenario for me and my alliance. And we have to do something to stop him from winning and to take down his alliance. I am defeated. I feel hopeless, lost. I don't know how I'm going to make it out. This is the first time I really like just don't know how I'm going to navigate out of this round. I, all I know is I need to talk to Sabrina, I need to talk to Shane, I need to talk to him now because we need a plan and we got to figure out what we're going to do. Jason wins the challenge. I'm super excited. That's my boy. I'm about to be the first person to pull him aside. Jace, let's talk. If you're thinking about like doing Kadia, that's fine, but I just want to, I don't want to go home in the boat. That's it. Um, are you thinking about, are you going to take Kadia? Which I understand if you are, which makes sense. I just don't want to go home in the boat. Yeah. It's going to be, you know, just, I don't, I think you're gonna make Wait, if this. Jason and I are talking and having a conversation. He lets me know that he's gonna put Sabrina and Shane on the bottom. I'm good with that. I let him know. I just don't wanna be at the very bottom spot. Who's that? Shane or Sabrina. Okay, in the bottom spot. Who's bottom bottom, you know? I don't know which one of those. Uh, but I think, I think you're gonna be fine. Okay. Well, I mean, I think so, but it's just, you know, happy to bring that up. But I will, um, I'll literally do it. I'm good with that. Though. If you want to do it, I figured it'll be that way. Yeah. We're good. No and I start thinking, now's the time to make a big move. Now's the time to um, take out a big threat of mine. Um, now's the time to uh, to kind of clear, clear the way. 
um, for me and my alliances to make it to the end. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Uh, yeah, we're good though. Right, just don't want to go on the boat. No. All right. Hey, you're going to be fine. All right, cool. Jackie has been eliminated. We lose one. That leaves three people left at the baggage. So Jace winning this round was so imperative for us to stick together. Me, Shane, and Josh, we really want to make sure we pull in Derek to our alliance and make things official. Yeah, because right now in the house, there's three of us, me, Shane, and Josh, against the other three of Kadia, Luke, and Jace. And Derek's kind of in the middle right now, so we're hoping to pull him to our side so we can secure the numbers. I feel like with Jace winning, I feel like my alliance is done. Everything we've worked for since round one, you know, working together, we're just gonna be wiped out completely. And it's just not something I want. Like we, we all worked hard. I worked hard to keep them safe, specifically, especially putting them at the top the last round. So to just be wiped out like that in a round where Jace wins, I, not very happy. I'm not happy. Uh, I'm trying, I'm, I'm thinking. That's where my options are. Go ahead. To the bottom. Um, me. I'm just flirting with the idea of putting Derek in. Okay. What do you think about that? Derek and Kadir are close, obviously. Mm -hmm. They're like ride or dies. Yeah. So if you're trying to get Kadir close with you, yeah, because you would be like her only option left. And I don't think she's not going to hold a grudge against that. Mm -hmm. So Shane's the switch. So, you know, he's going to probably be with Shane or um, Sabrina are going to probably be the switch. Yeah. So and they're not going to switch Derek from the bottom yeah. with, with her. So. Whatever he sends to the fan. Once he picks Kadia, he'll send Kadia. Kadia might save him. I trust Josh's judgment strategically, and so I'm straight up with him. Like I'm, I'm thinking about putting Derek at the bottom, and he's just kind of like, okay, like, you know, if that's what you want to do. He is really just concerned that he wants to to stay safe. He wants to to make it another round. And I'm like, no, nah, man, like you ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm really beginning to think that now's the time to to put Derek at the bottom, you know, and and, and see how the, the chips fall. I don't know. I'm just trying to I'm trying to make the right move strategically. I don't know who's going to bite me in the butt, mm -hmm. you know, right here at the end. I truly feel like me and you are like on the same yes. like playing field. Yeah. Like, I should we put anybody in that spot, like I'm not going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, and that's also another thing I struggle with, is like, do I move you there and then get it out? The thing is, whoever's there is going to probably get switched out anyway. Yeah. I'm not upset if I don't get that spot. I just need to know, there's seven of us, you can only save one person. So, and I'll, if I have to fight for the vote, I will. I would love to be safe. I want to be safe. I'm going to say that. I want to be safe. Yeah. And I want that spot. <clears throat> but the switch is going to probably end up switching it anyway. But I, if you give me the spot, I'll take it. But I do think me and you are on the same, like, playing field as far as like game wise we're like pretty strategic pretty good at competitions so I think it's in our best interest to probably keep each other as long as we can because at that point if one of us leaves it's a target and you're especially you because you're returning and I might run the same field we're, we're neck and neck <laughs> so okay <laughs> I'm thinking okay you think of anything I will good strategic for you though. I'm gonna go try I haven't talked to Derek yet okay. or Luke yeah. I'm gonna go chat with them. Luke just doesn't. Um, Are you going down? Who's gonna quit? I don't know. I have no I idea. At the whole time. I have no idea. I literally went. I literally just thought about that right before you. And I was gonna ask, and I was like, mm, not everybody knows that you have it. Yeah. As I'm talking to Kadia, Kadia asked me if I'm going to use my card because she knows that I have a secret advantage card. She wants to know if I'm going to use it. I tell her I don't know. It's going to depend on the placement. I 100% know Kadia is on top. There's only one person that's about to be 100% safe in this moment and he's obviously going to choose Kadia. I don't not everybody only you and Josh Josh and uh Jason you no know, um uh, sad because she was in the room with yeah. me and you um but anyway he's pretty shame and shy at the bottom yeah that's why I, I didn't want to tell them that but and so they're the switch they're gonna because I feel like them nervous. too I just don't want to I'm too far I'm I too know. far in this for that right now I'm, I'm, like trying, I'm trying to and I saw this channel challenge and I was just like crap I'm not getting this <laughs> I was confident you and I are close in this game and I have a gut feeling I'll be either second or bottom um, and I totally understand so don't feel bad about it um, it seems pretty likely that you could be the switch mm -hmm. um, I think it could be Sab also yeah so I mean, you're a little nervous that. it is time for the placement let's head inside
Jace, you are the top of the totem pole. Congratulations. <laughs> and it is time for the placement. You must now place every other player from top to bottom. The bottom five are in danger, the most danger of elimination. Good luck. Even if I'm number two or number three, there's still a switch, so no one's safe at this point. There's only one safe spot, and that's top of the totem pole. Jace puts Kadia at the number two spot. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I knew that could, coming into the game that Kadia and Jace were going to be each other's number ones. All right, everybody. I did a lot of thinking. Um, at this point in the game, um, I gotta do what I think is, is most strategic. Um, and so, however this shakes out, is uh, it's gonna be the way, the way it shakes out, and I hope. Um, Y'all understand one day. <laughs> one day. One day. One day. One day. <laughs> it may not be today. One day. Um, <clears throat> Jace keeps placing blocks on the totem pole, but not one of these blocks happens to be this face. I'm wondering, what's going on? I thought we were cool, you know? Why have you yet to pick up my block, you know? I am shook because I wasn't, I didn't think that I was gonna be here for this long, you know? I didn't think that I would be sitting here waiting for Jace to place me on the totem pole this long because he literally just told me he was gonna put Shane and Sabrina on the bottom. I wasn't even supposed to be in this. This was supposed to be Shane and Sabrina, so why I'm one of the final two blocks, I have no idea. Dude, big dog. <laughs> Derek, I'm sorry. It's okay. But I don't understand why we had a conversation and you told me that I wouldn't be there. Derek, you are the bottom of the totem pole. Yeah. Derek being placed at the bottom of the totem pole is a very foolish mistake by Jace as this allows Derek, someone who just voted with Jace, to then flip back to my side and work with Josh, Sabrina, and myself moving forward. Am I the bottom of the totem pole? He places me in the bottom spot. And we'll save that for later. Jace, are you trying to screw your own game over? Because it literally seems like you just did that. So, I think we have a new alliance member. Jace, what are you thinking? Why did you put Derek at the bottom? Derek was our swing vote. And now, we lost it. In the end, I decide to put Derek at the bottom. I think he's the biggest threat to me um, and honestly in the game right now. I don't know what to say. I kind of like pre-faced pre everybody before I ranked that I'm doing this basic purely off of um, strategy. Derek, I, I don't know what to tell you. You uh, are my biggest threat in this game. I know I said what I said, but it all is fair in love and war. And uh, you can do your best to come after me, but all I can say is good luck. I'm shook, I'm not happy, I'm pretty pissed off. I literally thought we were okay, but it's okay, because you don't know what brick is about to hit you. Good luck. I, I know Derek has his card, and he gets placed at the bottom of the totem pole. I don't 
know if Jace really... Jace, do you? I don't know if you think when you do your totem poles, but the only sane or the smartest option is to put Shane or Sabrina at the bottom. I just don't get it. I don't understand the logic in it. Also, Derek has been kind of working with you. Derek is really close to Josh, so I would have thought you wouldn't have put him at the bottom because he's close to Josh. Also, Shane and Sabrina, what the heck? We've been talking about putting them at the bottom and how we need to get them out. And then you put Derek at the bottom. I don't know your thought process. I did not get to talk to you before this, but I wish I would have because I would have told you that Derek has a secret advantage. I wasn't where I'm at now. I was talking Five minutes ago. Let's go. It is time for the switch. The two most recently eliminated players, Jackie and Madison, have decided on a switch. My connections with Madison and Jackie are hopefully gonna come in play here because I really feel like I'm in danger and need to be the switch this round. If they pull through for me and put me as the switch, I can shake this game up. And the switch is... Shane. Um, it's coming down to the final seven. Next round's gonna be a little crazier. Kadia, we haven't worked together a lot going forward. That doesn't mean we can't. Um, and I, you're not my target whatsoever. So I just need to focus on my game, but I have to switch ups, okay? I do apologize. I'm gonna switch to the second at the bottom of the total pole. I know that Derek has a secret advantage. I'm so sorry. Not a surprise that he's a switch, but I'm not worried about Kadia. Um, she's got a lot of really good friends. As long as this ship keeps sailing and Derek goes home, we're golden. Love this game. Let's go. I love this high too. If anybody has a secret advantage or an expose that you would like to play, you can play it now. I'm about to have to put Kadia in the bottom spot because I don't care. I came to play the game for myself, you know. I love Kadia to death, but right now, in this moment, I have to say myself. Jace, you started this. It's your fault what's about to happen. Let's go. Well, Jace, I would like to thank you for putting me here because I was actually going to say this so you kind of forced me out, but I'm okay with that. You literally just screwed me over, Jace. So I'm about to do anything I can right now in this moment to weaken you and your game. Secret advantage, there is moving up. You can select a player and move them up two positions from the total pole. I will obviously, oh, it must be played before the are selected, so I will obviously be moving myself up. Jace, that's very unfortunate. That could be as down in the bottom because of you. So Derek um, has a secret advantage um, that I didn't know about. Basically, Derek has a get out of jail free card and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, the, the good news is he's still in the bottom five and so he's still eligible to, to be voted for. It just <laughs> freaking sucks, you know? It is time for the defender. Kadia, you are the bottom of the totem pole, and you must select someone to be your defender. They can either save you or take power in the game. If they take power, you are eliminated. If they save you, it will unleash baggage into the game. I literally went from number two to the very bottom of the totem pole. I'm upset, I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm like... I'm sorry, I'm gonna listen to the, I'm sorry, I'm gonna listen. <laughs> Kadia starts crying, she's upset, and I honestly, I feel like crap because Kadia, I was really working close with Kadia in this game, but I know that Kadia and Jace are like this and they have Luke with them. So Luke, all three of them are literally like this in this game. Yo, what's up, man? And I think you don't want to go out and save me. I know it's like a whole bunch of crap that could go down, but... 
Kadia is in, she's emotional in this moment, and I understand, you know, I'm one of her closest allies. You know, I just I literally just put her at the bottom of the total ball. I only did this because of Jace. Jace literally made this bed for Kadia to lay in. With that, I have to comfort Kadia because I genuinely feel bad. You know, I genuinely feel bad that she's sitting there crying. I don't know how I got here. I've been playing so freaking well this whole entire game. I it sucks. It does. Cause I came in here so excited. I was like, I'm gonna get to the bottom and I was so freaking close. I can I felt it this morning. I woke up and I talked to Lucas and I said, We're the final three. I talked to Luke and I talked to I didn't get a chance to talk to Jace, but I was like, We're final three and I felt it. So with Kadia being at the bottom, she starts crying, and Derek, you know, he goes in to comfort her. And at this point, I'm just kind of like He's at the bottom, but now he's out at the bottom, and Kadia's at the bottom, and she's crying, and he's comforting her, so I don't really know where Derek stands at. He tells her, hey, I'm gonna save you, it's all good. So, uh, so you have to, like, I know it's like a stage situation, Jace put you in this situation, because he didn't have to f me over like how he did, because he literally told me outside that it would be Shane and Sabrina at the bottom. So now that he put, I'm not gonna whisper, Jace, you can hear it all. Now that he did this, that's what made this situation yeah, how it I is now. It's not, I understand, because right. I asked you if you were gonna play it, I understand right, right. you doing your thing. And he's telling me that Jace is the one that did this, which I don't blame Jace, it's a game. And I'm just gonna throw in there, like, he did make that move, mm -hmm. and that was homegirl who was at the top, and now she's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, take with that information what you'll do, but... I got you. So, I don't know what to say at this point. Um, Kadia, <laughs> my, my closest ally is at the bottom, and Derek is trying to say it's my fault um, and trying to steal her as his ally somehow through this like I, I'm the top of the totem pole you know and you, you think you have all the power and you think that your your plans gonna work out and it's all gonna come together and here it is uh, every plan I had is falling apart before my very eyes and there's not really anything I can do about it but put on a brave face when I tried my very best to to keep her out of this position and here she is despite my best efforts potentially going home and there's nothing I can do about it yeah. or, yeah, you, have to make, you can choose whoever you want to choose but you know, it, it sucks that your number one put you in the spot though yeah. And it's not his fault. He I'm gonna keep it open and honest with you like you did with me last round. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get one of these to it. And she asks each of us, are you gonna save me? Now, I, I'll save her, but I don't want to be in that position. I don't want to be tempted. I don't want to be faced with that dilemma because I don't know what's gonna happen when I step in that room. What if I take the power? Then I'm screwing everyone. So I'm telling her not to pick me. But Derek is just telling me that it's gonna be okay, and that he's like he's gonna it's all on Jace, and he is basically gonna do me right. And I asked I asked Derek. I said if I I'm choosing you as my defender. Are you going to save me? You know I'm letting Kadia know that I'm gonna save her, and I'm gonna have her back in this. Like I got you. I know. People beforehand got screwed over by Derek, but me and Derek have gotten really close in this game. He's one of the few people that I can trust, and so I'm putting all my trust into Derek. I don't know why, but when he looked at me, he just, I don't know, I kind of felt like he would do the right thing. I'm hoping that he does the right thing. I, and I, and I feel dumb because I know that Derek has screwed people over with this defender crap before but I Derek has literally called me his sister in this game and like everything and he's like one of the few people that I can joke around with and he understands me so Derek's playing up this emotional lovey person with Kadia after he just put her at the bottom of the totem pole with his advantage in the game clearly he's trying to win her over so she picks him as the defender once again and this worries me because I'm not 100% sure Derek really wants to take Kadia out quite yet in this game. 
I'm gonna give it to Derek. Fuck that. That's like my home. That's like my home. <laughs> Three times. All right, Derek, let's go. Where's the strategy? Kadia, like, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. What? 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 God! God, I can't. I can't. I can't. Whatever. But I don't know. It's honestly my fate is in his hands and I hope. Cause Derek, if you do this, I will take you to Final Four, maybe even Final Three. And honestly, me and you could dominate this game. I'm just hoping that you make the right decision. Before Derek runs downstairs to either save or choose power in the game, I turn around and tell him that he needs to make the move and get rid of Kadia. We need to weaken Jace, and this is the best opportunity, or else we're not going to make it farther. This really sucks that I have to make this decision on a person that I consider myself to be very close to, but I'm happy to be back down in this room for the third time making that decision. Jace really just screwed me over, and all I can think about right now is getting him out of this game. It is a powerhouse player. We've all seen her play her first season. We see how likable she is. We saw that she doesn't care to say what's on her mind. She will literally say whatever, whenever, and that's what I respect about her. I'm about to go start some drama. I'm about to cause some chaos. I'm about to piss Jace off. Derek, you were the defender? Yes, I was. And you could either save or take power. Uh huh. His decision was to. Easy. Sorry, Kadia, you know it was nothing against you, baby. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Kadia, this is so unfortunate that this happened. Um, I really didn't want it to go this way. Jace really screwed me over, and I know you're working very close with Jace and along with Luke, so in this moment, I gotta do what I can to weaken Jace, and if that means taking his alliance out one by one, I'm so sorry, girl, you know it's all love, but I gotta do this. I genuinely thought that I was different compared to all these other people. <laughs> and it sucks, because I really trusted Derek when he went down there. He told me that he was going to save me, and he did it. You saved her. You could have saved her. No, you put me at the bottom. Why would I save her? And she's your number one, clearly. Derek reveals that he chose to take power in the game, which is best for my game because I needed to weaken Jace in one way or another, and Derek just did the dirty work for me and my alliance. There was no other option to be in this spot but Kadia. She was the only option. When I talked to you, you literally said it was going to be Kadia there. No, right other, exactly. So why would I do something that's going to benefit you further in the game? Kadia, I am so game. sorry. You know it was nothing against you. It was all him. Derek choosing power shows me that he is listening to what I have to say, and my social connection with Derek is stronger at this point. So I feel like we're pulling him in with my alliance of Josh and Sabrina. And now I really feel as though Derek is on our side and we have some momentum back in this game. Love you so much, nothing but love, but he put you in this position. Period. What have you done? You have now destroyed our alliance. Because I would not have used that and put her in 10 if I was not 10. Think about it, Jace. Is she not your best alliance? If she was not 10, I would have not have used my card and put her in that spot. I mean, if I was not in the bottom, she would have not used that card yes, and put her in that spot. <laughs> You know? Well, good luck getting there, Jace. <laughs> and if you do, all kudos to you. Kadeer, I'm gonna give my friend a hug. Kadia, you can tell your goodbyes and walk out the front door. Derek, you chose power. I can't really change that. I still love you, and I hope that you, Jace, or Luke come out with the freaking win. In like literally five minutes, I freaking slipped out of my hands. I don't even know. I'm still kind of spinning from it because I don't know what really happened. But you made your decision. I'm not upset. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm not upset. I'm just I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, you gave me your word, and I've been telling you this whole game that I'm all about my word. And so when you gave me your word, I thought it was your word. I guess people aren't like me. And I have to learn that the hard way. Excuse me. You mean you're up the fake hug. Literally told Lou that we were going to make it to the top. And we I, we were so confident about it. And if I had talked to Jace about it, Josh would have been number two. and so, Or somebody else would have been number two. And somebody else would have went home. Derek uh, picks power. And, I mean, who's surprised? 
Uh, but to see her go home on my route as the top of the totem pole, I mean, that just sucks. And there's just nothing I can do about it. My strongest alliance out of the game, out of nowhere. Nothing I can do about it. And I'm being framed. He's going around saying, oh, it's his fault. I had to do this. You know I had to do this. It's his fault. Like, no, no, no. It's your fault. You made the decision. Lie to her face and take credit for it. No. And Kadia knows. She knows. I'm going to do this for her. As a huge fan, a huge huge fan of Kadia and you know watching her in season one and watching her cry like that I I know how much this meant to Kadia because we went from season one I'm actually kind of getting emotional oh my god um <clears throat> she went from season one you know and her game in season one wasn't as strong as she came in in season three she came in she won you know top of the totem pole she had to switch the first round she was making moves she was you know and from her perspective probably running things and making moves and things and making things happen in this game. To see her go out this way at the hands of someone who she probably considered a really good ally and a really good friend, it, it sucks to watch that. Like being next to her, rooting for her, and just, you know, it's like, do you root for her in that situation or are you like, it's better it's not you? And the obvious answer is, I'm playing against Kadira. I am playing against her. I cannot look at it from a fan perspective but I respect her so much. Kadia, I love you. I'm so, 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 so sorry you had to go out this way, but we had to, he had to do what he had to do. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. would play it over and over if I could. I honestly did not, did not, did not, did not think I was gonna make it this far. I was crying to Wesley the night before saying I was gonna get eliminated first because I had this boot on my foot and I thought it was just gonna hinder me so freaking much. But I made it farther in this game and I hope that I made all my fans proud and I hope you guys don't hate me after this. <laughs> Kadia, the queen is out. Love you guys. Bye. Derek, you selected power I did. and eliminated Kadia. But with that comes your power. Power. Please read it to the cast. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have the power to make a second switch. After my switch, whoever is in the bottom five is up for the vote. Unfortunately, switch here. I can only move. I reveal the card, which is my power, where I get to pretty much make a second switch in this game. Oh, this, this just changed the game for me because you know what? I'm about to switch myself with Shane, take myself out of the bottom, and put Shane in the bottom. I'm safe this round, and I'm about to cause some mad chaos. This handsome fella is obviously coming out of there. Um, Shane, you know it's all love. I have to save myself. Um, it's, I've literally never been up here, so this feels great. <laughs> it feels good. It feels really good. No thanks to you. Oh, I can sit here because, yeah. Okay, everyone go change if you need to. We'll reconvene here before we go to strategize. All right, before we strategize, if anyone has a secret advantage or an expose that you would like to play, you can play it now. Lock a vote before the strategy portion. Force a player to publicly reveal who they will vote out this round. They are locked in and cannot change. So 
Derek, who you voting for? I know. This is so unfortunate. I knew this would happen. And it's an exposed card. It sucks that you only got an exposed card. Jinx then pulls out his exposed card. Ooh. He's gonna make me reveal my vote. Jace, you started this. You literally made this bed, and now I'm gonna make you lay in it. You decided to come after me when I literally told you I would never do this to you in a million years. This is not something that I would've done to you in this game. You decided to come after me, now I'm gonna come after you, not just you, but every member of your alliance. You messed up. You really messed up, Jace. Anyway, back to what I was saying. It really sucks that I'm in this position to do this, uh, that I didn't have to do it out loud. But in the tone poll, we know things like that happen. So, I'm in a business right now just doing everything I can to weaken you. Like, it's very unfortunate that you use, you really need to do this. I love finishing breaking the bridges. So, Luke, I'm sorry. My vote's gonna be for you this round. Derek says my name. Great. I'm screwed. Now, there's an easy vote to just tag along to Derek, make sure there's not a tie, and send me out the door. So Derek uh, places his vote for Luke. I'm not surprised, but at least now I know. Um, and so I'm counting votes in my head. Derek's for Luke. Um, Shane, Sabrina are probably gonna vote Luke with uh, Derek going for Luke. Um, with me, Luke, and Josh, if I can get those three on somebody else, you know, there is the potential that he gets saved. There is, there is opportunity. Um, so, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. I don't know at this point what I, how much I can do, you know, and, and, and maybe I can sh sway Shane or Sabrina, but um, who knows? I don't know, I'm gonna do my best. So. As of now, Luke has one vote. It is time to strategize. Good luck. I think that by Derek casting his vote for me, it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to sway votes in my favor because with my name already being out there as a solidified vote, it's going to be easy to just say my name and take me out without having to strategize. However, the cards are in my hands, so it's just really going to depend on how I play them. I don't think this affects my game in any way as I don't think I'm in any danger with this upcoming vote. I have Derek on my side after what we just did. I have Sabrina and I have Josh. The only people I'm worried about are Luke and Jace. This is it. I have to save myself. I have never been in this much danger before, but it is do or die. Luke, we're coming for you.